Once every year, our school celebrates our faith in Jesus through our week of worship. This means that each morning, we interrupt our normal timetable to make space for our chapel worship program. This allows our students to feel connected to each other, to get involved in various parts of the service, and to be challenged and accept the call to follow Jesus. This year, our new chaplain, Aniel Doji, organized and seized the opportunity to speak truth and life into our students on the topic of rising up. This week was a time of fellowship with each other and Jesus, which is an essential part of the fabric of our school. We also had a week of worship at our primary campus in Castle Hill. There's nothing more amazing than seeing our year fours so excited to be running the week of worship by our side. Pastor Michaela Truscott, our guest speaker, had an amazing natural connection with the students and they grew quickly to love her and her stories. Our teachers have been an amazing support this week, all having such a supportive and uplifting spirit. I couldn't choose to work with a better team. And most importantly, a big thanks to our loving and awesome God. This week was all about building up young people and giving them a foundation for life that only God can provide. I can't wait until the next week of worship. The Year 11 PDHBE camp was held in Clifton, Lower Portland. We slept in tents for two nights and had the opportunity to participate in different activities around the camp. There was wakeboarding, kneeboarding, tubing and activities out of the water such as spotlight, mini olympics and thong throwing. We had great interaction with our peers through these activities while having a lot of fun. The highlights of the camp was riding the jet ski, hanging out with friends and learning new skills. Each year, our school participates in the NAPLAN testing program which aims to give an accurate representation of our students' scholastic ability in comparison to the surrounding and local state schools. This program is an important part of our improvement recognition scheme and we aim to do everything we can to equip our students to perform their best in this process. Following NAPLAN, our students from 7 to 11 completed their mid-year exams. Our MPC was almost completely full during these examinations. We see this as a good sign that our school is growing and thriving. We want to acknowledge the commitment and the diligence of our students and hope that the holiday break is a restful period for our students. Sydney Olympic Park is where we held our athletics carnival this year. We aim to achieve a first for Hills Adventist College by having a K-12 carnival all on the same day. Despite the hurdles of logistics, cold weather and rain, we as a school triumphed in a great day of sportsmanship, athletic achievement and school unity, which was a blessing to all in attendance. Students and parents alike were thrilled by the discovery that the Blues were training next door. A very special thanks to Mr Parmenter, our Head of Sport, who was the brains and the brawn behind this momentous achievement. Last week, Year 9 had their Invictus Bonfire Night. This was the final event for the Term 2 network element of the Invictus program and was the culmination of all we have worked on throughout the term. Students rotated through four different activities that looked at ideas like empathy, character traits, personal strength and teamwork. The evening concluded with a much enjoyed meal of pizza and soft drink. It was a good time had by all. We also had the official opening of our middle school block. With the Minister of Education and a few other prominent members in attendance, it was great to share our school and vision with the leaders of education in our state. In weeks 9 and 10, our Year 7 and 8 students engaged in our annual STEM projects. In groups, students are faced with a real-world problem that they need to design a solution to. Using teamwork, creativity and available materials in the tech shed, students use skills from science, technology, engineering and maths to solve these real-world problems. That's it from us here at Hills Adventist College for Term 2. We hope that you have a restful and relaxing holiday break sharing quality time with your family and your friends. See you next term.